happy I was, um, washing my hands. I don't know why. I'm gonna find something I need to do. Let's see here. Service, you're still with me for another three minutes? Well, let's see if I can do that. Okay. Oh, right, a nice stallion. Hey. so hard to kill. Kill it yourself, buddy. The fuck? Why was this so hard? Did I miss something here? I think so. I've got this other thing. What do I have here? Uh, ah. Damn it. There we go. Damn.
Yep, I guess that's just the way things are right now. It used to be a time, no matter where I was, I could yell out and somebody would show up. But, that, this explains a lot, like I've been recruiting a lot and I haven't been getting any responses to my recruitment. And I've been wondering, if, I think people have been saying that it's just the old zones are just dead. No one hangs out in them anymore. And I think that's, uh, <laughs> that's proving to be true, <laughs> unfortunately. Oh well. Let's go back there and try that again. Because we're crazy. At first, you don't succeed. You try, try again. How that works. Mount to me!
Oh, that's better. Sweetly done, adventurer. We won't have to look over our shoulder for an army of golems now. Risking little blood now saves wallows of it later. Well, thanks for the money. I like money. Look at that. Now I can switch class. Nope. Oh, I don't Clearly the Commander Bloden has come to trust your skill and discretion. Well met, Aldon. Thanks for the other times. You're not soft, I'll give you that. I have a job that needs a hard lad to kill, searching for cobalt scouts. My boys say there are at least three of them somewhere on the hill. You can handle yourself, can't you? You know me. Oh, down there. Been it though. I mean, more of the hell. Find that. Yeah. I still need a bit more, really. Oh, 
down near, aggressive. I knew that I could handle it. Not a big deal to me. Last one. Over here, all right. I don't see it. Is it above me? God damn it! It is above me. God damn it! We're in trouble. Or not? We made it. Do something with that Koei Earl? Capture in a stack. Okay. I guess we'll try. the cat on the bag. Good, good advice. I put a glass on you as soon as I heard that I was fighting. I had you pegged for a bruiser. Sure you don't want to give up the road and join us here? That's enough kobolds to go around. There is something a touch familiar about those kobolds you saw too. I've seen some what move that way before. I could swear to it. I'll come it'll come to me if we have even that much time. Some mines are sieves, and some are steel traps, and Commander Bloden has the latter sort. His remembrance of things past begins the mission of vengeance. 
I've been racking my brain over those scouts you slew, and now I remember where I saw them last. They belong to that cursed priest, the priest of the leader... The priest, the leader of the Kobolds, 129th Order, the only lot to ever make it past their sentries into this camp. This camp's supposed to be like a ship. You might get a broadside, but you'll see it coming. You're supposed to be safe here, but it wasn't safe that night. And one of mine almost died, a young swallow, new maid, easy pickings for the moles. They slipped in on a rainy night, and when it was over, we found Blag Blah. He'd been lying out in the rain, and there were rills of the co there were rills the color of roses running off of him. I hadn't kept him safe in his own camp, see, so the sawbones had to save him. I have amends to make. The priest got to die. If the priest is here, that means there's kobold bombs nearby. When the 129th retreats, they go in and, and go at, they go in fire and thunder. That's their way. You go to the bombs and set them off yourself. I'll come scampering to see what's amiss. Take him then. You may not be one of mine, but you're a red one. Steal to soul. I can count on you. Take the smoldering coal. Use it on the bombs. Once that night, since that night, I'll not misprize the priest guile. Already the whole camp's on alert, rearing to avenge blaggy blah. If this is one of the kobolds' tricks, and they're thinking of ambushing us here, they won't live long enough for regrets. Hello. Hey, good looking. Catch my kill yet? Hey, good looking, catch my kill yet? Alright, a real damn kill. Wait till I time this thing, the kobolds ain't know what hit them. Won't know cause they'll all be in pieces. Now, how am I going to tame this thing? How's it unusual like? Don't you just sit on him or talk to him? Do, 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 do. One more level 34 quest left. It's over there. Do anything here. There's smoldering coal. Where do we get smoldering coal? Alright. Oh, easy. There's another one. Lurk at the specified spot. Okay, so where do we have to lurk? Oh yeah. Waiting, don't you mean lurking?
Go. I think he knows what he's getting into. I'm like the expert. Oh, dude, he did. The experiment's gone awry. Everyone's made to belong in this world. I've got the master claws that have to be above me. the golem one. Alrighty then. Tell me the good news. Did you rid us of that priest? It's home, ripped from that cunning head of his. You've done me a great service, adventurer. Will you do another for the Red Swallows? Take the helm to Private Blah and Blah at Camp Bronze Lake. Tell him the priest is dead. Pup that he is. Having your trophy will mean much to him. An adventurer or not, you're one of us now. Times aren't just changing, Aldon. They're turning like a mutinied ship. Who knows? Could that could be that being a friend of the Red Swallows proves a mighty useful thing. Arr. Could be. I guess only time will tell. 
Alright. Nope, we still gotta go live with us. I know your face. Ah, the adventure delivered my pleas. But to no avail, you come from Overlook is all well there. The priest is dead, the swallows, I thought. Perhaps, perhaps they thought my wounds just deserts. And left me to my shame. He did not tell you I had the East Watch that night. Twas me that failed and near died in the failing. Look, see these cuts inside the helm? One of each of the red swallows. These are the same marks we make in the woods, so that no comrade may be lost. I thank you for bringing this. I'm the most fortunate man in the woods. I'll get it. Okay. Yes, that was the last level 34 quest. Now on to level 35 quest. Iliad bids you go to Lost Hope, a raft of exiles lashed with the graceful ship of Uda, and deliver the four sticks of Vyalkin repellent to Zazawaka. Oh yeah, I should mark them. Oops. I'll them there. Scrupulous shopkeep. Hello, what's up? Came from Dideju, did he? I was wondering where she'd gone to. Stopped by her shop the other day. Was going to offer her a cup of tea. She missed a nice one. Amber tip from Corthus. Usual? I'm assuming that tattered linen? Yes, sir. Now don't you go misapprehended. It's nice and soft she, so she can pull out the threads and we weave what she's mended. Here you go. Zazawaka, what's up? Got something for you, buddy. What business do you have here, stranger? Oh, you come from the church of St. Adama Landama? Ah, oh, the Vilekin repellent. The good father told me last moon of this plan. He is a man that keeps his word, and twas kind of him to have you deliver it. Did he tell you where and how these are to be used? I fear I have little knowledge of alchemy. Alright. Sprinkle the repellent on in, at the destinations, okay. I didn't realize there'd be another part of this quest, but alright. It's fine. Everything's fine.
There. You're welcome. Thank you, stranger. This place may seem wretched to you, and none here would deny it is, but last year I had the look of a charnel house. It had the look of, the, of a charnel house, so fierce did the pestilence rage. Tell Father Iliad we owe him a debt of life. I confess, though, I wonder if we are saved from a plague only to perish in war. We have little love for Garlemald here, and news of them who burned our homes traveled fast. What chance does Lost Hope have against the force that plucked Alamigo was like a ripe peach? Fight or flight, we must make plans, yet few have ears to listen to me. They have too much to fear already. Too many demons to slay every hour. Aww. Golds. Hmm? A bullpoint chisel, you say? And a pair of needle nose pincers. Those things don't come cheap, you know. Well, oh, here's some money. Thou's bows. I mean, yes, that should be sufficient payment. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> well, I got the tools, I guess. Okay. Graveyard where the church is. Spent so much time here. Keep coming back. Illicum. I remember something about Illicum. The did you? There you are! Did you get what I need? Much appreciated, adventurer. Now we'll see how nimble these fingers are. The father needs us right soon, he said, going out on some priestly business. This is a piece of piss compared to the last order, though. Excuse the salty talk. Twas big as a house and burnt as a slattern supper. Father Iliad brought it, but it looked to be much to be for that lich keeper fellow. Thank you, Aldon. Sometimes, for what ails us in thinking, we find relief in doing. The ministration to exiles is one of the duties of the Church of Santa Dama Landama. I pray that some day, with the grace of the gods, they may find again what they have lost. Okay. Have you brought the tools that I? Have you brought the tools that I requested? I think I'm a weirder voice than me. <laughs> yes, yeah, something occurs to me. Please wait here a moment. I must walk over here and then walk back over here. It was for naught. Though I've repaired the device easily, the sensation that stirs within me remains a mystery. But how? How did I do it? These hands, my hands, they moved with a mind of their own, deftly manipulating the clockwork mechanisms. Mm -hmm. There was no doubt or uncertainty. I knew exactly what to do, as though I had performed the same motions countless times before. No, it can't be. P -p -p Pardon me, Aldon. This was a mistake. Please give the horror lodge to the sister Iluned. The man who once owned it is currently in her care. I think it best that it be returned to him. Okay. Mysterious. Hmm. 
Now only three quests left. Well, we're out here. All right. Hello. Hello, Nud. Hello, Ned. Good morrow to you, sir. Have you come to pay your respects to this man? Here you go. Never before have I seen such a queer device. You say that it measures the passing of time. Hmm. Mayhap there are more com mayhap they are more common in Garlemald. I am given to understand that it cities are filled with all manner of amazing technologies. Hmm. Marquis said that it belonged to the deceased. Oh dear, you don't suppose that the owner might have been a Garlean spy? It may behoove us to notify the authorities in Camp Drybone. But, mayhap, more importantly, how did Marquis manage to repair this device? I knew he had a talent for the trades, but this goes far beyond mending fences and thatches rules. Hmm. Most interesting indeed. Ah, the next class. Says to Ezuned is staring at you with great sadness in her eyes. Oh no. I recognize you now, Aldon. Allow me to express my deepest condolences for those who lost their lives in the attack. I apologize if discussing this upsets you, but you should know that the bodies of your comrades are presently being removed from the waking sands and prepared for transport here. If you wish to leave this work to others, I understand whoever taking part might help you find closure. All my friends are dead. It's so sad. All my friends are heathens and they're dead. People went and stabbed them in their head. They won't make any sudden moves. The coroner will know the half of the abuse. All my friends are heathen, thank it thou. Alright, where are we headed next? We are headed to the Voyage of the Gabu. Seems that a mourner was attacked near an unusually verdant patch of wildflowers growing on a fallen Gabu. Baron Binzi investment seems to say the creature is responsible. Ah, I shall. We must away. Look at that. Dorcious. Oh, 
Nay. I'm Pegasus. Away. Baron. When the calamity struck, it sundered life everywhere, not only among our races. Look around and you will see how things have fallen apart. Feet, claws, roots, all have been torn from the earth they were planted on. The dead god was a child of Coerthus. The calamity shattered its native, native, ma native, its native mountains, and it fled before destruction as a caravan flies before a sandstorm. Years it wandered. We found it dying re and received its memories. It had gathered seeds from every land it passed through, and they flower upon its corpse. A living map of its loss and exile, north to south, mountains of the desert, cloudberry and shooting star, mirabelles and cliff roses, alphic lavender from lower Thanalan, even rossels from bloodshore. <sighs> to wander is a dream and a nightmare. Adventurers such as yourself must know it better than I, but I imagine there are days when the flame of adventure gutters and you feel yourself to be as bereft as those in lost hope, and upon us no flowers grow. Okay. Getting kind of dark. There's an air of mystery about Brother Baron. He would bid you help him with a gift. So generous is Father Iliad to so many. He feeds clothes and Physics them in physics them tireless, tirelessly, yet he has none to do for him what he does for others. I would show him my appreciation with a special gift, but sadly my meager purse is not enough. We speak to the other brother, brothers and sisters and see whatever they do they feel as I do. I have made arrangements with Ermagerd. Ermagerd <laughs> who runs a ca oops, I hit the wrong button there. I leaned on my keyboard. Uh, I've made, uh, made arrangements with Irma Gerd, who runs a concert, who runs a concert at Camp Drybone. If you are successful in raising the funds, will you deliver the gill to her? Irma Gerd. <laughs> Irma Gerd.
Oh, there's still one more thing to do here, apparently. And I shall do it. Well, my name is not held on. Esmore. Be silent to take my kill. Pray forgive my outburst, good sir. It is only that I owe Father Iliad my life, and an opportunity to give him something, no matter how small, sets my spirit of fire. Cool. Money, money, money. So much money. I've got a lot of money. I'm gonna take it and run. Leave them stranded. Cause I got all their money. Oh, how much money I've got. If I had a little money, I'd have some money. Do, 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 do. I had a feeling it would be down here. What am I getting him? A, a hooker? We're gonna get him a hooker. Ew, a child hooker? Horrible. A gift for Father Iliad! Of course, it does not take Thal to see the good in him. It warms my heart that Brother Baron would go to such trouble. Thank you both for your effort. Oh, you're just gonna give me some money. Nice. I like money. Do 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 do. I like money. Do 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 do. I like money. Ermengard. Ermengard. It's her. It's Ermengard. I was just gonna stare at her for a while. She's like, what? What's so funny? It's your name, Ermagerd. <laughs> Greetings, Aldon. Brother Baron said you might be coming by. A gift for Father Iliad, he said. Yes, here's some money. Lots of money, apparently. That good father must be a man much beloved from the weight of these sacks. I have given this matter much thought. A consignment of high quality spices arrived just this day. Mayhap cinnamon cookies would suit. I have received many a kind word from my customers about my cookies, if I may say so. I've heard better things about your tacos, but honestly. I have also observed the good father linger at my store whenever a fresh batch was to be smelt coming out of the oven. But the only times he spent his gill on cookies and cakes, it was for the children of lost hope. Ermagerd. Well, okay then. Do I have to wait for you to cook it or what? Give this a no, I guess they're already done. Ermagerd, she was so fast. Ermagerd. You guys want me to stop saying Ermagerd? Run, 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 run away. Run on the chocobo, you say? 
You can do it. Yes, you can. Give this cookie to a cookie fan. Hmm. Good day to you, Aldon. What brings you to this place? A cookie? What? How? Cinnamon cookies? By Thal. A gift, you say? From Brother Baron, Brother Esmore, and Sister Zazoru. How kind they are. I could tell them there was no need, but our order teaches us to see and eat despite the needy's disavowals. I shall thank them from my heart. I had a son, and through his happy marriage, a daughter. Well matched they were, and well met. Their house smelt of good things like this, and there was always an open peg for my cloak and a tall glass of mint tea. When they died, I... Aw, it just reminded him of his dead family. So many tragedies have befallen us in recent years of calamity. The primals, alas, it is only within our power to shepherd the souls of the fallen and pray that they find peace in the bowels row. Aw. Whoa. Get my umbrella out so I don't get all wet. Was, f was Father Iliad pleased? Oh, that is good, and I believe it does his heart good to give word to his sorrows. That is what we tell the bereaved in the lichyards, that grief must be both shrieked and spoken. I had heard that Father Iliad had suffered a great loss in the calamity, yet his heart grows as large as a palace, and scores dwell there in the haven he makes of it. Would that some day I am half the man that he is. Now here's some XP, but not enough to level up. Ha ha ha, you suck. I'm gonna do this one now. Find a slipshod wayfarer and do things to him. You know the kind of things I mean. Alright, as you wish. Unnecessary thing. Pum 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 I didn't need to do it. I didn't need to do it. Almost there. Almost there. It's getting closer. It's almost upon us. This slipshod. Oh my lord. Oh, we better murder these things fast. Yo, you like to be punched? I've got some fruit punch for you. Ha 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 ha. Have to be punched again. Would you like some fruit punch? Oh, okay, so I Don't drink the Kool Aid or the. I have saved you, good sir. Now give me your purse. Your change purse. Making your change purse is fine. Thank you, thank you, and thank you thrice. Saw those ra rather nasty brutes coming and thought, well, nothing much really beyond. Ah! Oh god, I'm gonna die! Ah! I don't wanna die! Ah! I'm shit my pants! Ah! They really should take old Halatali Hala -tali down. The place has absolutely gone to pot. Oh, look at the time. Mustn't keep the burial waiting too much longer. I suppose my cousin Frondrek, she got the overtight course and is none too pleased. And back to the church for me. Come, Stallion and Jarvis. Pegasus, we ride, but like slowly. Oh, slowly. Yay. It's been so rainy lately, it's so rainy. Frondrek, what's up? She have tight corsets. 
Your tie's still, her corset, her corset doesn't seem that tight. Anyway. Oh, thank you. He abs he's, is absolutely incorrigible. But to think we might have had to bury him as well. Then again, that's one bur burial he wouldn't have had been late for. There's a thought. Okay. I pulled up the monk because he is so cool. I'm gonna change my class to the stupid fool. Level up the monk because he is so cool. I'm gonna change my class to the stupid fool. Uh, that's all level 35 class. No, there's one more. The main one. Having recognized you as Father Iliud's guest, Sister Il Iluned offers her condolences for the lives lost in the attack on the Waking Sands. She then informs that the bodies of their fallen comrades are currently being prepared for transport from Vesper Bay to the Lichyard. Believing that it might help you find closure, she suggests that you travel to Vesper Bay and assist with this task. You know what that means. Bring out your dead! Bring out your dead! Need one of these. Ah. Sometimes I yawn, sometimes I yawn a lot. Park, how goes it? Eh, you don't look like one of them church fellas, not that I'll turn you away, no sir. As you can see, we've got a, num a pile of unidentified bodies over yonder. No one's come to claim them, so off to the lichyard they go. Be thankful you didn't have to go inside and see the carnage for yourself. Twas the stuff of nightmares, I tell you. God's damned Imperials. I did see it all for myself. I don't know what the quarrel they had with these folks, and I sure as hell don't want to know. The sooner we put this behind us, the better. Say, ain't I seen you around here before? Or do you just have one of the faces I never mind? Any road, there's a carriage come to haul the bodies to the lichyard out by the east gate. There's only eight left to load up, but seeing as I'm exhausted from carrying all the others, I have a mind to leave the remainder to you. I want to cover your nose while you work. Some of the folks are starting to turn. Aww. Jesus. So sad. Let me just check all their pockets, make sure they don't have anything on them. Cause that would be sad. Good thing I can carry them all. I'm so strong. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah, I've got some corpses for you. Oh, what happened to the big fella? I ah, forget it. Just bring the next batch and toss them in the back. Ain't like they'll complain if they're rough. Aw. Well, ain't you a strong one. Four in one trip. Reckon there's no need for me to lend you a hand with the wrestling. Well, I did have a horse. And now a flying chair. It's much easier to carry corpses on a flying chair. Marissa Dawnwalker. Walker. 
Come on, come on, let's finish this before I die of old age. Relax, buddy. That should be all of them. Thanks for the help. I reckon it won't take too long to deliver all the corpses back to the churchyard. Even if, even so, you might want to hurry back and tell them that our work is done. Putting out your dead. I see that you decide to heed my advice. I pray that, in doing so, you found some small measure of peace. The first carriage from Vesper Bay arrived not long ago, and we have begun preparing your comrades for burial. At a hand of the initial rites, and I... I would like you to know that for many, death came quickly. Rest assured that we will treat them with the utmost respect and do everything we can to shepherd them to Thal's realm. Here's some XP and money. That should help you feel better, too. Sister Eluned wishes to discuss some of the Scions of Parish of the Waking Sands. Although we can perform rites for most of the Scions, there is one whom we cannot accept. We would like you to return this one to her people, the Sylphs of Little Solace. It is only proper that she be given into the care of her friends and family so that they may mourn her in accordance with the Sylphic traditions. So sad. Still level 35, alright.
giant bugs are scary. Doo 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 doo. There were some giant bugs. There's my giant bugs. What's with all the giant bugs? Jeez, you guys are very close to the giant bugs. Poor Muxu, I've got some bad news about one of our selves, our friends. This one is surprised to see walking one in little solace. How can these ones assist walking one? Do you not smell the corpse? <gasps> Loraxia, but this one does not understand. <laughs> Komoxio, this one has heard much wailing. This one would know what has caused such distress. Terrible news, Elder One. Awful news. Walking One has returned to his little solace, but why? These ones have not requested further aid. Noraxia, how did this happen? Explain everything to this one at once. So sad. So not only Noraxia, but many of Walking One's friends were lost as well. Noraxia. Noraxia went to Thanalan at the behest of this one. Walking One was with Noraxia at the end. Tell this one that Noraxia was brave. Tell this one that Noraxia did not suffer. This one is glad to hear Walking One's words. Thank you for bringing Noraxia home, Walking One. These ones also wish to thank Praying Ones. Tell Praying Ones these ones will remember this kindness. This one demands vengeance. Imperial Ones must pay. Imperial Ones must suffer. When the time comes for walking ones to face Imperial Ones, do not forget these ones. These ones will not have Naraxia's death be for naught. These ones will fight. That's good. I have to go back to Iluned. That's annoying. Back and forth, huh? Pegasus, girl, no, oh my, girl, Pegasus, girl. We thank you for your service to the church and to the sylphs. You may be pleased to know that, in your absence, we interred the remaining scions in the lichyard. Perhaps you still wish to do more for your friends. If so, I would remind you that you have already done so much on their behalf. Please, take a rest and set aside your burdens for now, Aldon. Never. I must never rest. Not while there is more to be done. even fancier. And there's more quests to do. Let's check it out. Hello. Level 35 still. Marquis believes he's being watched. Oh no. I... Hmm, I... I'm not imagining it out on. I know I'm being watched. This is different, sinister. It is as if I am under observation. The feeling comes and goes, hmm? But I have felt it when I last ventured outside. Yes, I know I felt it. Will you look outside for me, please? It will only take a moment. Hmm. I'm not 
looking outside, but I don't see anything but the rain. Hello, anyone watching? Anyone out here just watching? Like a weirdo? What's here by this grave? That's weird. I am being watched now by who? Imperial Humanitarius? What the are you? Attacked, weren't you? Are you harmed? Thank the gods. I knew it. I knew he was watching me, but why was he watching me? What did he want with me? Did he perhaps know something of my past? If only I could have asked him. I need to think. Please allow me a moment alone. Wait, Father Iliad must hear this. this. Will you tell him for me? It's important. I think others may come for me again. Heavens forbid that such a thing should happen on holy ground. Do you have any idea who this man was? Do you notice anything distinctive about his garb or his possessions? Ah, uh, this imperial short sword? This, this is guardian steel. Which means this man was, who was watching Marquis was. Make haste to camp dry bone at once. We must summon the mortal flames before more imperials come. You wear the imperials. They will try to touch you in weird places. Bum bum bum. I gotta talk. Are we just gonna? Hmm. I fondly hoped that I might be the first to speak with you. Would that I had been so fortunate. Hey, Cinematics. At ease, adventurer. I come not on behalf of the Empire. On the contrary, I mean to revive the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. But they died. And to that end... I have come in search of a legend. The greatest engineer of our time, Master Sid Garland. I have come for you. I fear you Obviously. are mistaken, child. He is but a poor soul who bore witness to the horrors at Cartano. Like said. I beg of you, leave us in peace. Wait, I... <sighs> Hear me, Sid. Eorzea needs you. Said, you know it's true. Walks away. Oh, he knew the whole time. He knew. Uh, Sid, was it? Here, these belong to you. I thought you bore the mark of greatness. It seems that I was right. 
Our time well. together was all too brief, but it felt as though my son had returned to me. You have brought Weird. joy to an old man's life. They're both old. But it is time for you to help those who truly need you. Cast back your hood. Become the engineer you were born to be. And let us rebuild the, the scions or whatever the fuck. Are you? Alfino Leveilleur, at your service. Alfino As a scion of the Seventh Dawn, I stand against our primal and imperial foes, as my grandfather once did. Tis no secret what befell our order at the Waking Sands. Word has already spread across Eorzea. So the repercussions are far greater than you realize. In the wake of the Calamity, the three city-states focused their efforts solely on reconstruction, leaving the Scions to combat the primal threat unaided. And lo, we are all but destroyed. Yet even as the nations mourn our demise and abandon what little hope they have left, we cannot forsake our duty, now least of all. Truth. The Ixal have summoned Garuda once more, and she torments the people of Kurthus as we speak. Do you want me to go deal with that as you become the new leader of the Scions? What about the Her what appetite about for destruction the hot one with the Midrash? Other primals. No, not Melissa Humana Paradez. The other one with the hot midriff. Worse, in her present incarnation, our Baldessian colleagues believe she surpasses both Ifrit and Titan in strength. Yet, okay, therein I'm lies an opportunity. Sure. Were we somehow to defeat Garuda, it would serve as a warning to the other beast tribes that even their mightiest gods can be felled. Perhaps. If we are to face our foe, we must first circumvent the tempest that shields her sanctuary. Uh, if we're to face our foe, we must first move the shield. Tempest, the shield is actually sorry, I was distracted. And for that, we need an airship. Someone texted me. Your oh, airship. Oh, we're taking an airship. Nice. What about his airship? So you're saying we need an airship to defeat Garuda? I... I have an airship? Yes, Sid, you do. Your very own airship. It was last seen airship. in the sky over Britannia, not long before the calamity. So let us begin our search there. Look at that. An, an airship. Uh, my airship? Oh, wait. Wait. Wait.
Wow. Come, let us put an end to the primals. Together, we will show the world that the Scions are still a force to be reckoned with. Yeah. They need my airship. They need me. Not speeding, it's in that line. Let's increase the job. Good for me. Ah, our first level 36 quest. Ah, so that was it. We did it. We finished all level 35 quests. Guess we'll do this, and then we'll uh, call it there, I think. What a curious twist of fate that Master Sid Garland would at last be found within our church. It defies imagination. Beg your pardon, Aldon, you wish to find his airship, yes? I know not how much truth there is to it, but there is a tale known as the Final Flight of the Enterprise, which grew popular in the wake of the Calamity. Much like the great god Buwal of Ulda, it states that the Enterprise flew northwest from Gredania towards Corthus. If true, the airship would have passed through the North Shroud, likely over Falgord Float, the closest settlement to Corthus. Mayhap the serpent stationed there have records of the event that transpired that day. Hmm. I'd hoped you might rest from your. Oh, I'm doing the wrong. <clears throat> it does sound more like. Anyway. I had hoped you might rest from your journeys for a time, but I see that the world still has need of you and the Scions. Pray look for yourself and Sid, Aldon. Okie dokie. Well, I guess we're gonna call it there then. It's been fun. We finished all the level 35 quests, so that's good. I just gotta get all our dudes to level 36. Or level 36 quest. Until then, live long and prosper, my friends, and may the force be with you.